Hey guys, <clears throat> we're back with another video, and today we're going to be ranking all of the ACDC albums, starting from the original first one and the one that they made in 2020. It is 2024, so if they release another album and it's not on this list, it's probably most likely, well it's definitely because it hasn't released yet, because as of right now, this is the latest album they've released. So yeah, anyways, we're going to get into this list, and here we go. Um, so, first is high voltage the first one i think it was 1970 yeah 1976 it released not bad album pretty good i think it deserves a solid b tier again like b tier is like good a tier is like great s tier is like awesome c tier is like meh. d tier is just it's just f f wait f would make that an f yeah and yeah, this is continue on. Now there's this one. Um, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. It's an alright album. I don't think it's as good as High Voltage, so I'm gonna put it there. <clears throat> At least that's my opinion. Let It Be Rock, that, this is a good album. I love this album. Let It Be Rock, title, tr <coughs> title track, awesome. Um, what was it called? There was another song I liked. I can't remember. Um, I think it was, hmm. Let me see if I. Oh yeah, Go Down, Go Down. This was Go Down, this album, awesome song, I love it. Very good track, solid A tier. Power Age. This is also a pretty cool album. I wouldn't put it in C, neither B. I would put it in like the middle, so we'll put it like in front of this for C. If I could, I would put it in like between B and C, because it's a pretty cool album. I don't think it's quite as good as High Voltage, but you know, it's there. Um, Now... The Highway to Hell. This is a pretty cool album too. Love it. Very cool. A tier. Actually, no, we'll put it in front of Let It Be Rock just because I think it's better than Let It Be Rock. But um, Let It Be Rock is also. I think that this is just such a cooler Let It Be Rock, the best um album cover that they've ever made. It just looks pretty cool. I don't know. Now we have Back in Black. Already 100% S tier. Usually. It's like, mm, but it's the, obviously because it's the m best selling album. But, you know, I I just love it. So, mm, you know, it goes there. For those about to rock, we salute you. It's a pretty cool album, too. I think I'll put it right behind Highway to Hell. It's a bit better than Let It Be Rock, but not by much. So, yeah, it goes there. Flick of the Switch. Oh, that's also another S tier. I love Flick of the Switch. That's also a really good album. Not quite as good as Back in Black, just barely not as good, but I still really love it. So, yep, it goes there. Now you fly on the wall. This is an alright album. I think it'll go right next to High Voltage. Not a super awesome album, but it's it's there. Now we have Blow Up Your Video. This will probably be another A tier, right behind Let There Be Rock. I think it's a good spot to put it. Here is a... Now, here is The Razor's Edge. This is also a really cool album. You know, Thunderstruck, their best, their best um, song of all time, 90s, you know. Um, I think it was Brian Jones, yeah, Brian Jones. His voice got is, like, super gravelly in this song. A lot different than Back in Black. It's good, really good, but not quite, yeah. I think that my favorite songs in it is definitely Thunderstruck, of course, Shroud of Love. And then I think that's it, yeah. There's not a whole lot of songs I like on it. I like it a little bit more than... Let It Be Rock. Mm, I don't know if I should put it in front of For Those About To Rock, We Salute You. Mm, I think I'll put it right in front of it. Razor's Edge, the Razor's Edge beats um, For Those About To Rock, We Salute You. But just barely, just barely beats it. Now we have Ball Breaker. Ball Breaker is an alright album. I think I'll put it in a solid B. It's good, but not super cool. Sifra Upper Lip. I think it's also a B tier. Black Eyes, I think this would go into an A tier. Behind Blow Up Your Video, so yeah. Rocker Bus is also probably, I don't know, definitely B tier. Um, Power Up, this is definitely a good album. I've listened to a couple, I've listened to a couple songs in it, and it's still a good album. I think I'll have to put it in A tier too. And, yeah, that's it. My, um, my essential tracks for this album is probably, um... Shot in the Dark and um, Realize. Those are the two main songs I love from this album. So it, it'll go in front of Black Eyes. 
probably this probably blow up your video but yeah anyways that's my list this video went by pretty quickly don't forget to like subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye take a take a look at this list as you see nothing went in f tier that's surprising not a single album was f tier hmm well actually one second let, let, let me take a quick edit, edit of this hmm uh, wait. No. No, I think this should. For, hmm. No, I think. Hmm. No, I think. Um. Stiff upper lip will have to go. In C tier. Yeah, I think it deserves to go in C tier. Harry has to. Hmm. Sorry, guys. I looked at this list and I realized, wait a minute, something isn't isn't right. <laughs> like Power Age cannot be below Stiff Upper Lip. Stiff Upper Lip is pretty cool, and Power Age is just better. I mean, Riff Raff, awesome track. I think it'll have to go in front of Fly on the Wall. Yeah. I think no, it has to go up here. Yeah. Okay. Now we're done. Black Eyes Two Fingers go right there. Yeah. Okay, now I think we're done. There we go. Now, here's the list. Back in Black, Flick of the Switch, two of my favorite albums. Almost, yeah, well, actually, yeah. Every single song on both of these albums, I love and my favorite. And then in A tier, in the front of A tier with Highway to Hell, in the Razor's Edge, for those about to rock, we salute you. Let it, let there be rock. Power up. Blow up your video, Power Age, and that's A tier. Now we have B tier. And B tier and front B tier probably pretty equal with A, A and B. I probably hmm, yeah. Um, high voltage, fly on the wall, ball breaker, rock robust. Pretty cool album. I think I think the cover art on this rock robust album. It's super cool, because, like, I've seen videos of people where, like, it busts apart whenever you move it, so, yeah. We have Black Eyes, and that's the B tier. C tier was, like, meh, these are meh albums, they're alright. Dirty, De Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, it's an alright album. In my opinion, it's it's an alright album. It's nothing super special. And then we have, um, Stiff Upper Lip. Out of all of them, Stiff Upper Lip is probably the weakest out of all of these. This is my opinion. This is my opinion, remember. This is my opinion. You guys can rank these ho however much you want. There's no wrong way to rank these. At all. These could all, you could sort of just have all these, click the, um, the shuffle button, and whatever it comes out with is, I guess, fine. Unless Stiff Upper Lip is number one, which, no, that's not, I don't think so. But other than that, yeah. Anyways, guys, that is finally it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.